Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know, this is kind of a video that I haven't been planning, that I didn't even plan to do, um, because I normally don't do videos of me just sitting here and just gonna talk about some stuff. Um, so this has been a long time in the making. I've been doing, preparing for this for a very, very long time now, for about a few months now, but it was something that I shouldn't have been preparing for, that I didn't even want to. Um, but I had to because um, I wanted to speak about it just so that there's something out there for, you know, purposes. So this is not good news and um, it's pretty sad, but in the end it's heartfelt what I'm doing. So let me just talk about it. So it was about May 23rd. Almost at least four, three months ago, I think. I can't really do that off the top of my head. I'll have to think about it. Um, but I think about almost three, four months ago, whenever. It was May 23rd. I was hanging out with some friends. I had to came home um, after school that day. And usually my dog is there who greets me, sees me, um, hears the door open and sometimes barks, sometimes doesn't bark and um, just waits in the living room or comes running to the the mud room where we just walk in for, from where, where we came back from throughout the day. Um, so obviously I was concerned that I didn't see him, that he wasn't there to greet me. I looked all around the house. I looked outside, maybe he was just sitting outside and I just didn't see him. No, I couldn't find him. I was searching there for maybe 20 minutes in, before my sister had gotten out of school and walked back up. So this was probably walked from the school to our house. So this is probably just about maybe up about three o'clock when she had came home. I had told her that Cooper wasn't home. I don't know where he is. So she had took the initiative to contact some to contact her parents and they had said that he was taken to the hospital that day. Obviously it was like, okay, well he's at the hospital, something's probably wrong that they needed to do at the hospital, not go to the vet because the vet is like hours away. We don't even want to bring it. And it's not like we will bring him there hours away for something. Um, unless it's urgent. So he had went to the hospital because for about a few weeks before this, he was ex exhibiting symptoms where he couldn't really breathe. It was hard for him too. So obviously we, so they, so the vet had thought it was laryngitis paralysis. Obviously it wasn't that. So I went to go hang out with my friends to distract myself from what was going on that he was in the hospital. So we ended up having, you know, kind of a good time, kind of a, you know, wondering if he's okay. My friends were texting me because I had texted him that he was in the hospital because they all wanted to know what was the latest news on him. So I was always just telling them and saying, oh yeah, he's breathing like this or is this, if you come meet him, don't be like this because he needs this. So we had gotten him in 2020. We had traveled and we had brought him back home. And he, his original name was Mikey. We did not want to change his name. Our mother insisted on it to name him Cooper. So that name just kind of stuck with us for the past two years and 11 months of his life. Two years and 11 months of his life. He almost made it to three, but he didn't. And that's kind of sad. Um, when we came home that night, it was about 11 o'clock because that's usually when we come home and we hang out with some friends. Um, when I saw my grandma there, I knew something was wrong. I immediately knew that something was wrong. And there was also some other things that, that were going on. So I thought it was about something about that. Probably some good stuff. No, I didn't hear anything from that until the next day. Um, but again, back to where I saw my grandma knew something was wrong. So we were all called to the living room. We, all, we had all sat down. And immediately I'm just like, yeah, something is definitely wrong because this never happens. I'm never asked to wonder where I'm, when I'm going to be home. Um, sometimes I am if I'm out for a really long time. So I just text my parents, hey, I'm out for this amount of time. Mm, okay. 
but they're never constantly asking me when am I gonna be home when am I gonna be home so obviously something was wrong something had was going on and it had to do something with my dog because he was in the hospital the vet doctors had told us that there was nothing that they could do he had cancer that had had metastasized and again nothing that they could do so immediately it was just like what what they had all thought he had laryngitis paralysis the vets did clearly he didn't have it and the only thing that the hospital could do was for us to put him down and this was all on may 23rd and may 24th is when we had put him down just the day before my mom's birthday so obviously so far not good vibes from this year so i was upset i couldn't do anything i was out of school for the rest of the week and this was about to be senior skip day and we had chose thursday my mom's birthday to be senior skip day because we had that friday off so we had an extended weekend i had a super extended weekend but but that weekend it was supposed to be fun and ended up not being fun because of that reasons and for for me to take that all in i was super upset and when my friends had found out what we needed what we had to do they were all rallying behind me and supporting me and helping me through this and i will forever think 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 them thank them for that i can't even get the words out of my mouth <laughs> and and it's also hard again because at the end of august one of my friends is leaving for college which is sad um again and when you see this video when this video goes up she's already gone she's already gone to college and Obviously, I'm going to be an emotional wreck even more after that because it's one of my best friends. But we put him down around noon. And the drive home was just, we couldn't do anything. I couldn't eat for the next few days. When I finally got my appetite back, I couldn't eat a lot. And there was just certain people who wanted to go do certain stuff and you know, go to restaurants. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I just don't feel up to it because of what's going on in, in my life. And it also really hit my sister real hard, which had prompted me to suspend the Minecraft survival series for a really, really, really long time, which I'm hoping to bring them back by next month or next week, which is actually next month. But now that I think about it, and I'm also thinking about adding a new series, Minecraft to Hardcore. But, you know, before I can do that, I wanted to put this video out there. So I had compiled images and videos of him across his lifespan, two years and 11 months. Um, pictures I have taken, pictures others have taken, videos that um, my sisters had, had made, um, some other things. So I want you to watch the rest of this as you see this compilation or memorial of him. And it's just you can see how happy he was throughout his life. And I want to thank everyone for watching. If you just aren't going to watch the rest of this, thank you so much for watching. I have more videos coming out the rest of this week. Um, so stay tuned for those. Anyways, here are the videos and pictures of him. And we love you, Cooper.